too many agents of chaos, overwhelmed by discontent. You again? Could you enjoy our first meditation? Where'd you vanish to? Someone else needed me. I felt good as new after. Deep contemplation must be regular in order to yield results. One drop of rain shall not quench your thirst. Would you like to try again? Well, how much for another one? That is for you to decide. Should be enough. Good. I will watch over you during the meditation. Thank you, spirit of water, with our mind, body, and soul. There is no life without you. We honor the beauty hidden within you and the other elements. Last time. Yeah. 
Take care. Tell me about Santo Domingo. A lot of people tried to get a foothold here. Corpos, gangs, none of them made. But real people live here in Arroyo and Rancho Coronado. Can't pull the wool over their eyes. We are the blood and guts of this city. Why El Capitan? The people, they're grateful. They show me respect because I put them first. Wow, a true altruist. Corpo worlds at disease. Power's got to get back in the hands of the people, and we'll do it. You'll see. How's biz? I don't care for the word biz. I call it work. Hard work. Honest work. And I can't complain. We'll talk later. Hmm. That on purpose? You 
Sergey. Nice of you to ask. Lately, I feel like there is a neon sign over my head that says, Sergey who fuck with Tigger Claws. I have little present for Tigger Claws sitting in garage. Don't seem so nervous for a man in your situation. Ah, but you see, I'm in home stretch now. One base away from freedom. How are you so sure the Tiger Claws will accept your present? Well, trust me, I know. We Russians have very refined intuition about such things. And you are just delivery boy. How'd you piss off the Tiger Claws? Ah, uh, it was just a friendly misunderstanding. <laughs> sure. This man, he look normal. Beard, brown shoes, nothing, you know, breathtaking. And they also have little dog, Gospody. What kind of hitman goes around with dog? This misunderstanding involved you shooting him? It was worse. Much worse. Ah, I say too much already. All right, then fling me the coordinates. Just a moment. I opened door to garage. It opened from inside, too. Just in case. Presence the car? It's a bit more than ordinary car, but in nutshell, yes. Just drive it there and they take care of the rest. Don't mess this up, huh? I count on you. Oh, it's not him. Thank God. Quick, let me out before he returns. It's unusual, as far as presents go. What? What did you say? <laughs> You're supposed to be my present. A surprise from a certain Sergei. You're not making any sense! You know, like a pop-out cake. Except there's no cake. Just lots of blood. And you are... Alex Pushkin, Senior Assistant in Quality Assurance at Biotechnica. What's a Corporal QA doing messing with the Tiger Claws? Y you work for Tiger Claws? I, I, I told them I, I would not accept their offer. It's complicated. How bad for a change my mind? I, I do not know what is going on, but thank you. You will not regret this. You got this job from Akako, yes? I will pay her. She won't lose an Eddie, and neither will you. You would be the last person to get bought by a corpo stuffed in a trunk. Oh, so I thought. You never fail to surprise me. Though I do suppose he who offers most shall get his way. Oh, I do not mean Sergei. No, sadly, he was outbid by another interested party. Who knows what will become of him now? Quid pro quo v. Quid pro quo. Contract closed.
one of my net runners is unresponsive, in spite of clear orders to remain in direct contact with me. Something must have happened. He would not dare go against me. Familiarize yourself with the brief and proceed swiftly. I need him. This weird long scream. Maybe someone fried their hand in oil. No, no. It was quiet. Like, from a basement. You come here to eat dim sum or talk about ghosts?
Hey, you all right? Look, Fee, it's you in the near future. Every net runner ends up the same way. Brain fried by some corpo ice. Looks like he's still breathing.
I don't know how long I'm here, but as you Americans say, I'm starving. Well, you're in luck. There's a restaurant upstairs. I know. The whole time. Those aromas. What torture. So you were conscious? Partially. More like in deep hibernation. Had a peek at your messages. Looks like this spectral kid was right, huh? Hmm. I get stuck after all. Uh, when he find out, he'll become completely insufferable. That way you didn't ask him for help? In case of a fragile ego? No. But because I was trapped in the subnet, the lights were as far as I could go. Any idea what's in the Corpo code case? You young people ask too many questions. See for yourself. Huh. Maybe it's not such a good idea after all. Ha! Ah, you're a fast learner. So, you're probably wondering who sent me. Wakako. She always find an excuse to drag me to her place for dinner. You must visit me someday. I'll show you a few net running tricks. Wasn't it me who just saved your ass? We never stop learning hard lesson. But you don't have to do everything alone. Thanks, I'll think about it. informed of how you handled yourself. Good work. I expected nothing less from you. I am closing the contract. Stranger! You who? Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan. Your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Nope. First time here. Wouldn't you know? I could tell you weren't from around here. What with that homesickness of yours. And you know what the best cure for homesickness is? A sweet, refreshing, lightly carbonated beverage. Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh! 
It's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street! Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime! Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous, craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Come on, call me a shithead. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. You can do it, I believe in you. Ahem. <clears throat> you? <sighs> You're a... Cool, helpful, just an all-around shape, shape kind of guy. So, how'd I do? Almost. You, uh, almost had it. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean... I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase.
The contours of your awareness are much clearer now. The knot in your mind is beginning to unwind. You are drowning in the here and now. starting to get the hang of all this. Inner harmony is like coming home from a long journey. Do not cling too tightly to your thoughts, but allow them to flow freely. Does a toad clench its fist when it swims? What is the sound of one hand clapping? That depends. Is someone clapping with you? I want to try another one. How much would you like to pay this time? Will this be enough? Yes. You may begin. I will guide you. We are in the forest. We see rays of sunlight pierce the canopy, dancing and weaving into the tongues of flame below. Spirit of fire, spirit of the sun, I send you greetings. You give beauty to all other things. I am you, and you are me. There is no life without you. From you I was created, and to you I will return. Spirit of the sun, primordial fire, burn all impurity from my body and soul and the negative energy of negative people, worlds, and dimensions. Cleanse every cell of my body. Give me the energy of life, health, youth, wisdom, knowledge, strength, joy, and happiness. Give me lasting inner peace, so that no one may shake me from my sacred equilibrium. Through half-closed eyes, we absorb the sun's divine energy. Through our eyes, the energy of fire, of the sun, touches our heads and flows down through every organ until it arrives at our toes. Each and every cell within our body, including the subtle and etheric, is replenished with the sun's energy. And from within us, light emerges. We are the sun. We thank you, spirit of the sun, element of fire with our mind, body, and so Of course that would happen.
whole of Night City knows you. What's cracking? I've got a problem. I... Wait, you mean you're not calling me to ask me to be your backup dancer? <laughs> Just kidding. What can I do you for? It's about a fan of mine. The, um, the weirder variety. I've been getting death threats. A lot of them. All sent to my private address. I'm also being followed. I can't just wait around until something bad happens. We have to find him and... and deal with him. I don't know how much you charge, V, but I'm prepared to pay whatever the cost. Believe me. How do you know the threat's real and not just a joke in poor taste? V, that last letter I got was a bomb. Security got to it first, of course, but... You see what I'm dealing with? Uh-huh. Doesn't get more real than that. Our guy, you know anything about him? Nothing. Only that he signs his letters GC. Huh. Not much to go on. It's a clue nonetheless. Well, can't your bandmates do anything about it? You seem like a bunch of girls who can take care of themselves. V, I don't even know what this guy looks like. We need to catch him in the act. Like, quietly. As for us, you said it yourself. The whole city knows our faces. Happy to help out. Oh, Carrie was right. You're like super chill. So, I've got a plan. I'll go for a little stroll by Kabuki Roundabout while you hang back. Watch out for any signs of trouble. You catch something suspicious, like you see the guy, and you're a hundred percent sure it's him. I'll know what to do. No, no, wait. We're not killing anyone here. That would be bad for the bands, like, PR and stuff. All we want to do is teach him a lesson. All right, whatever. You make the rules. Awesome! So, just go to Kabuki, sit on the bench, and wait for me. I'll come to you. shift.
Steel geezers. Got it. Did you say her? Hmm. Well, there's a twist. I'm heading there right now. She was acting weird. Turned out she was also packing iron in pictures of you. With your eyes cut out. Pretty solid evidence, wouldn't you say? Oh my god, V! Thank you, thank you so much. Don't mention it. It's what I was paid to do. A girl like that? Who'd have thought? What... What do we do now? badges get here what about when they let her out or, or she escapes then you give me another call okay you're right I thank you for everything I'll transfer your Eddie soon promise go get a stiff drink cool your nerves take care blue moon
hello. 